that's sort of unavoidable if you find that guy. He's going to be that guy that eats up a major chunk of your salary cap because, you know, I'm looking at this going, okay, I don't know if I call him great. He's a very good quarterback. And the numbers tell you it's pretty great last year. You know, mm -hmm. is that who he is? Is that is he a $212 million extension level quarterback? Maybe he is. Maybe I'm not giving him enough credit. Um, but would you rather be the, the Lions in a situation where he, you are paying him the second most of anybody in the league annually and maybe he's not the guy to, to win it all for you? Maybe he's good enough to get you there or close to it? Or would you rather be in the Seahawks position where they don't really – in in football dollars don't have much of a financial commitment to that position beyond this year and even this year's commitment is not big by way of comparison it's half as much so are they in a better position you know they don't technically have their answer they've got it for now Gino's your for now guy I don't know if they look at Sam Howell as the future maybe he is he, he very well could be or maybe they're going to still be searching after Gino's done and Sam Howell maybe just doesn't become the man you're still on the search you know but you don't also you also don't have the albatross of 53 million dollars annually committed to one person when you're functioning with a salary cap yeah but i mean again everybody is trying to get to that position like you want to be in that because you're sure of, of what's going on and yeah I'm, I'm very curious about sam howell that was a fair amount of um a fair amount of draft choices and uh you know money that they put into that trade and I i'm i'm curious to see is john schneider really that good <laughs> at looking at quarterbacks because we talked about it he's had pretty good success picking russ in the third and you know we talked about the stories of him going to look at patrick mahomes and thinking about possibly moving up to get him uh same thing josh, with josh allen, allen. Mm -hmm. and yeah i they seem very confident in Sam Howell. I think they're trying to kind of keep it on the down low just because I think, you know, John wants to, you know, make sure that he's not. I think they're really excited about Sam Howell. I, I think that's going to be very interesting. But, you know, yeah, I mean, if you if you got to that point, let's say Sam Howell became the next Patrick Mahomes. Um, <laughs> probably not. But, uh, but, you know, if that does happen, you'd kill to be in that situation. Yeah, it's really tough with our salary cap. There, he's our quarterback's eating up that much, but it's that important of a position. So, and also, you know, if you have the the sort of guy that maybe you think he is okay, and he's make you you're paying him thirty five, forty million. It's an extra twenty five to get to you know, <laughs> to wherever this number is that's mm -hmm. going to be as far as uh, the the golf contract it's like yeah yeah we that's okay we, we we can get there we're already paying a good amount for a quarterback anyway yeah it, it's it's i don't know i'm 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 happy for him i like i like watching the lions dan campbell we talked about it i mean it, it, after they were on hard knocks you're like i kind of like these guys kind of kind of pull for them and obviously they're one of my all-time favorite teams uh but they according to the professor yeah according to oh boy there was the almost late, an accident late great professor yeah. yeah um but i'm curious to see how it works out but then i'm looking at it going man where, where are these numbers going to end yeah. like what are, if we're talking in five years what, what's the what is the going to be the average annual value for the premier quarterback in the league is it going to be 60 is it going to be 70 is it is the cap going to continue to rise enough to account for that? I mean, is there going to be a an end point where the owners just go, we just can't pay one guy that much of our cap mm -hmm. because it feels like the the quarterback salary is rising faster than the 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 salary cap is. Yeah, on which a percentage basis? Yes, right? which in turn would make it. You would presume, and I know there are a lot of loopholes and the capologists find all these ways to shove money here and restructure this and we're going to call this a bonus and what have you but it seems like it's going to be much harder to field a competitive team around that one guy it, you know when when he's soaking up that much of the salary cap are you going to have great quarterbacks that have really subpar line o lines or very subpar weapons or maybe the defense stinks because they can't invest or i don't know i'm just i'm kind of trying to figure out where does it end because it seems to be rising rapidly you're at 55 right now with joe burrow so i don't think it's going to take five years to get to 60 per yeah. year i think that's going to happen probably in the next couple of years you know uh, what the nfl needs bob they need a 2000 uh baltimore ravens team 
to, yeah. to win the Super Bowl or the two with a Trent Dilfer yeah type of quarterback exactly you know and just the the value there but instead we have Patrick Mahomes is kind of the going the for standard. three in a row right <laughs> cementing exactly. that idea right cementing that idea in owners' heads that I need the guy I need that guy right or you know uh, if you're able to time it up the you know 2013 Seattle Seahawks you know yeah. where you get your your guy on a rookie deal and so yeah that's that's what I think you you need to to correct that because that's the way it's going right now because everybody looks at hey Patrick Mahomes there you go that's that's the guy that you pay and you don't complain about it you try to find you work really hard to try to find pieces around him that make him better that aren't gonna break the bank and that's just how you how you run your uh, run your team and yeah, that's just the way the NFL is going right now. So hopefully, you know, that will – and maybe maybe the running back will make a, a comeback. Yeah. Too, because those are – you know, it's – They're it's, cheaper. It's crazy. Like 30, 40, 50 years ago, you would – you know, the running back was so They were important. the star. Yeah. yeah. It was O.J. Simpson and Walter Payton and, yeah. uh, you know, those – Barry Sanders, they were, they were the – they were the extra meeting guys. Yeah, they were, those were the guys that took you to a Super Bowl. Yeah. And yeah. now all of a sudden it's just it's just – it's devalued to the point where it's the lowest franchise tag number of any position player. So, yeah, it's uh, – but I if, – if you had to – for me to, you know, ask me, okay, do you want to be in that situation? You're going to have to pay 60 or $70 million a year for a quarterback? Yes, 